Today on the show, I'm going to be answering the question, what is Shogeki no Soma? Food Wars. So the story that I've heard is a writer called Yuto Tsukuda, who created Food Wars, was actually a hentai artist, but he wanted to be in Shonen Jump, so he created Food Wars in collaboration with one of his chef friends, and it turned out to be a hit, and so now it's an ongoing series. Again, that's the story I've heard, don't know if it's true. Watching Food Wars, I would believe it's true. So the plot of Food Wars goes something along the lines of Soma Yukihira is a teenage chef that has big big dreams for the future and wants to be involved in the culinary world and he goes to a culinary school with only a 1% graduation rate. This isn't because the school is bad, it's because the school is incredibly strict. If you mess up even the slightest little bit, that's it. You are out of the school. Soma is quick to find out that cooking in this school is literally everything. If you want to be the best, you have to prove that you are the best. So he ends up going in cook-offs against various other students. The manga first started in the Weekly Jump magazine in November of 2012. It's had 109 chapters so far and is still going. The manga is actually published in America as well. I believe it's actually published by Viz Media. Now I really enjoy the manga, so if you want to read it, I definitely recommend you try and get your hands on it. In 2015, Shogeki no Soma had an anime adaptation and was set to run for two anime seasons, meaning it's still running at the moment and started in spring of 2015 and is going to run through summer of 2015. I think that anime is absolutely brilliant. It's managed to capture the essence of the manga while adding to that essence as well. I think it's absolutely brilliant, it's fantastic and hilarious. It makes sense that I like Shogeki no Soma's anime though because Sentai Filmworks are involved with its creation and Sentai Filmworks have also been involved with some of my favourite animes including K-On! and La Coda de Oro. The thing that I love about this series is that in anime in general there's not much representation of non-Japanese characters which I'm fine with because you know anime is Japanese that's to be expected like in English TV there isn't much representation of non-English characters but in Shogeki no Soma there is some representation of other cultures from around the world particularly European cultures which I find really really interesting because obviously I am from Europe I've traveled all around Europe there's not a country in Europe I haven't seen and I I find it so so interesting to see another country's interpretation of that culture. Now the main focus of the series is the food. The way they interpret the food in the series is so so interesting because it's not easy to interpret taste, smell and texture into a visual medium like animation and they do it fantastically by making this food a sort of a euphoric out of this world experience which I think is a really really interesting way of going about it and it could be terrible if they didn't do it right, but they've done it fantastically. In fact, the food in the series gained so much popularity, just this month there was a recipe book released. I love Shogeki no Soma, I think it's absolutely brilliant and I encourage all of you to go and watch it. You can actually watch it in Crunchyroll, it's got a simulcast, so if you click the link that I put in the description down below, you can actually get 14 days free of Crunchyroll Premium. And with Crunchyroll Premium, you can watch episodes as they are released and in full 1080p, which is absolutely fantastic if you're like me and you really focus on the small details in animation. It's super effective! Okay guys, that is it for today. So what do you think of Shogeki no Soma? Please leave in the comments down below. And also don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more history videos. And also don't forget to like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, support the show by checking out my Patreon so I can make bigger and better and more history videos. And also don't forget to subscribe to my gaming channel, my vlogging channel, and follow me on Twitch. My name is Faust, this has been Exploring Comics, and it is super effective.